about novel coronavirus. Very exciting. First of all, uh, I personally believe that the Philippines Department of Health has reacted very, very flat-footed on this entire situation. Uh, simply because it, yesterday, the World Health Organization declared the uh, coronavirus as an international health emergency, uh, which is obviously a very, very serious situation. Uh, and basically what Department of Health has been saying the whole time during the press conferences is, no, listen to us, listen to us. You know, don't listen to anybody in social media. We're the, we're the official channels. You know, I tell you what, they were also the official channel, Department of Health, when they released an illegal closure order on our facility back in 2018, which we sued them for, which in November of 2019, they offered us a settlement for in court in Tarlock, which we accepted. So yeah, the official channel, they screw up. All right? Okay, yeah, so... Don't understand that. Mm -mm. And you know, I, I believe, are they finally saying that folks should wear masks and wash their hands? <laughs> Well, I, I'm gonna tell you them later. You've been telling that for, okay. for a week. I'm gonna tell Get them Get with the later. program, Secretary Duque. Seriously. I mean, I know you're really busy right now. You're probably, you know, busy helping your family's pharmaceutical company out or basically leasing out more space to the Department of Health uh, or Phil <laughs> Health to your family's real estate holdings. But for a second, put all that aside. Put it all aside and put the Filipino people first. Just this once. Okay, Sir, Sir Jack is empowered today, so he's <laughs> empowered, but I'm going to be talking about novel coronavirus, okay? I'm here actually to uh, teach everyone, teach each and every one of you, and why you should not be afraid, afraid. and everyone should be relaxed, so wag mo kayo nervous, okay? So just recently, we had the first confirmed case of coronavirus in Phil, and everyone is sending me a message, Doctora, what can we do? They're all uh, scared. So, but what is coronavirus? Novel coronavirus. So, novel, novel it's because it's new. Mm -hmm. So, that's the reason why they, they use novel coronavirus. So, this is a new strain of coronavirus. The ones that have the, sa the, the same virus that caused SARS. Mm -hmm. I remember in 2003, mm -hmm. it caused also panic in Phil, diba? So, I can remember I was in uh, the hospital back then and they're all scared. So, Everyone wanted to uh, to wear masks, so medyo scary siya. But Some wear masks just because yeah. they're KSP though. But uh, basically, it <laughs> came also from China. Yes. So this came from China. This one, it came from Wuhan, Wuhan, China. So this, uh, according to a lot of um, news, they say that it came from a fish market. Mm -hmm. So, but then at that fish market, there were also, they were also selling some of the wild animals, okay? So, ang nangyari ho, And domestic yung, animals. Yeah, so, ang nangyari was, the virus jumped from one animal to another animal and eventually it landed in That's a person. To yeah, so, nagkaroon ng mutation. But they were saying it was conflicting reports back then, di ba? Sabi nila, it was from civet cat. There were also reports that it came from bats. There were reports from bats, from cobras, right. from cats. Yeah, but eventually it was um, isolated in bats. Okay, so from bats, nagpunta po siya sa humans. And that it became very virulent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so medyo nakakatakot siya. But actually, compared to SARS, SARS has a 10% fatality rate. SARS. So out of 8,000, if that's 10%, 800 will die. But this one, okay, this new based virus, upon based upon reports, it's actually only 2%, the fatality rate. So for typically it, those who are old or immunocompromised. Yeah, old, immunocompromised, pregnant, young children. So they are the ones that are really severely affected, okay? And if they will be affected, they would usually die because of um, acute respiratory syndrome okay para silang nalulunod yun ang nangyayari sa kanila mm -hmm. but don't be afraid now the thing is the most unique about this uh, novel virus novel coronavirus is that it is infectious during the incubation period during the incubation period they were saying it's two days mm -hmm. and some as as uh, early as one day one day to 14 days they are infectious so nakakatakot siya because some person they can actually, you can contract the disease or you you are infective mm -hmm. 
uh, even if you don't have any signs and symptoms. So you feel great, wala akong nararamdaman, and then <coughs> magugulat ka na lang, yeah, nakakahawa ka na pala. So that's that's the most scary about it, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I will, I will tell you a lot of practical ways why you shouldn't be scared and what you can do to protect yourself. So what you're not are powerless. the symptoms? You're not powerless here. Mm -hmm. You're not powerless and you don't have to be a victim of this. There's mm -hmm. many, many steps, again, that she's going to, to outline, uh, which can reduce your chance of mm -hmm. infection and in the event of infection to potentially help you. Mm -hmm. But these are viruses, okay? So when you talk about viruses, it's the same as viruses, rhinovirus, if you have uh, common colds, okay? Magkakapareho yan, dengue, mm -hmm. okay? Hepatitis. Which I had dengue, and yes. it sucked. Okay, so these are all viral infections. So when you talk about viral infection, these are self-limiting. So self-limiting means your body has to overcome it. Kaya pag pumunta ka, pag pumunta ka sa hospital, they will not give you anything. Most of the doctors, it they will just prescribe you something to enhance your immune system. Like me, when I was still a practicing medical doctor in my uh, in my country, when someone comes to me, they have a viral infection. We do not give antibiotics because antibiotics have no effect Zero. Okay, on a viral infection. So if someone gives you an antibiotic and you have a viral infection, you have to tell them, Look, meron akong virus, meron akong virus, I don't have any bacteria. It does have any does have no effect on the body. So no one should be give you, giving you an antibiotic if you have a viral infection. That's like if you have a flat tire in your car and someone would stop and give you an umbrella. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. It doesn't really help. Okay. So the ones that would really help you is a strong immune system. Okay. So that's the most important thing about all viral infection. They are, again, self-limiting. So it's very important to focus on uh, nourishing your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very important. Yan. So the symptoms, again, it can vary. Mm -hmm. So some of them, you have cough, you would have fever. Okay, some they would have colds as well. Nasal and eventually, discharge, yeah, discharge. they would have difficulty of breathing. So, hindi sila maka -inga. Okay, so they would go to the hospital. So now, okay, baka mamaya, <laughs> baka mamaya, maybe they would have cough, fevers, and cold. And then you said, Doc, I have coronavirus. <laughs> no, no, you have to be exposed to a person who came from China or who has been exposed mm -hmm. To someone who came from China. Which that's actually another point I wanted to bring up because um, mm -hmm. you, the Philippines is a country of 100 million people. Mm -mm. And it's really shocking that in a country of 100 million people, there's not an infectious disease laboratory in that country that mm -hmm. can actually determine uh, people who have uh, the virus. Mm -hmm. the, those, those samples mm -hmm. actually have to be taken and then sent off to Australia. And then to wait for a response from Australia. <coughs> I mean, Secretary Duque, mm -hmm. get with the program. Seriously. Mm -hmm. You know, in the Philippines, you know, you can build a multi-billion dollar nuclear reactor that never goes online. You're right. But you can't build an infectious disease laboratory? Mm -hmm. Seriously? You can build a flagpole there in Manila that mm -hmm. was what? Millions. Millions and millions of pesos. Yeah. But you can't build an infectious disease laboratory mm -hmm. in the benefit of the public interest? Yeah. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Where are the priorities at? Get with the program, Secretary Duque. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope this will change their mind. I hope it will as well. This, I mean, is, this will not seriously. be the first. This will not be the last time. This, this is not going to be the last time. Pandemic. And, and it's not going to be the last mm -hmm. time, you know, for example, that there's a disaster. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, here in the States, they have, you know, FEMA that manages disasters. Mm -hmm. And Phil, every time there seems to be a disaster, the government over there is like, oh, gosh, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Guys, get with the program. Mm -hmm. Put together a... a, a a division of the government to handle these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, Sir Jack is put the Filipino people first. For, on, <laughs> put the people first for a change. Come on. Yes, oh, Sir Jack is fired up again. Okay, so we'll proceed. Okay, mm, sorry. So they are transferred. Okay, the virus is transferred. Okay, there's a human to human transmission, and this happens through respiratory droplets. Okay, so ano nagsasalita ka? Okay. So, yung virus pwedeng pumunta doon sa saliva mo, tapos mapunta doon sa kabila, and then you can infect someone, okay? Also, it enters via the eyes. Kaya pag nakikita nyo sila, di ba, doon sa YouTube, <coughs> YouTube, yep. usually you will look at what's happening <coughs> in 
Wuhan, but they were all wearing goggles yep. because there were also reports that says that it is transmitted through the eyes. So also, Which is why it's so important not to yeah, touch your eyes. So it's, if you've been around a crowd of people, don't mm, touch your eyes, don't mm, touch your face. So it's also uh, <clears throat> transmitted through the nose, <clears throat> through the mouth. Kapag don't worry, Mom. I just have something in my throat. Sila. Something in my throat. I don't have coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. So, pag nag-ubo-ubo sila. So, it's very scary. Oh? Pero, but it's just the, the same as most of the viral infection. Same with measles. Measles, measles is also uh, transmitted through respiratory droplets, cough, cold. So basically the same. Oh, hindi naman, there's really nothing exceptional with this virus, except that this is a new virus that we have not known yet. So most probably some of the doctors there also, they do not also know how to manage. Hindi rin nila alam kasi this is a new virus. So we are all learning. So we are learning with the medical community as well. So, but do not be overwhelmed, okay? So we will teach you how to protect yourself. So now it's a WHO global emergency. Global health emergency, yeah. correct. And what do you mean by global health emergency? What I mean by global health emergency is uh, this is a significant warning to countries all across the world, mm -hmm. which is why, for example, countries like Russia Mm -hmm. have closed their borders and canceled visas mm -hmm. across a 4,000 kilometer border mm -hmm. with China. You know, they're Mongolia taking, as well. They're taking Mong this very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, in the Philippines, it's mm -hmm. a little different. They're still, in, still allowing flights to come in from China. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not sure that's a really wise idea, mm -hmm. especially since, you know, obviously there's the incubation period and the uh, health officials from China have repeatedly said that uh, folks are um, infectious while uh, before they they're showing in signs the of infection. Period, so, uh -huh. you know, the thing is, you, you, you have to try and do your best to limit this. You know, unfortunately, I think um, as far as Phil is concerned, it's a little bit too late right now mm -hmm. because they've allowed so many of these travelers to come in. So, mm -hmm. at this point, the best that can be done, uh, is, you know, is it, you can't limit mm -hmm. the travel anymore. The best that can be done is for us to each take personal mm -hmm. responsibility yeah. and look out for our own health. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Also, the, the, the health your of your community. And your, and your kids. Community, or not even the community, but the health of your family members. Yeah. Okay, so what are the practical tips that you can use, okay? So you can use herbs. So there are a lot of herbs. Marami pong herbs that has shown in um, research and that have antiviral, that have an antiviral properties. Correct. And one of them is garlic. So Correct. garlic, amazing garlic. <laughs> Yun lang, if you're gonna use <clears throat> garlic, again, if you're gonna use herbs for medicinal purposes, you have to use them five to seven times higher than the normal. Okay, what is the normal? For me, ah, ang normal sa akin ho is one, um, isang dakot. Okay, after that isang dakot, so five to seven times, you have to drink them higher. Okay, so garlic is one of the best antiviral uh, herbs that are available out there. Ginger. Yeah. Which, by the way, mm. real quick, garlic has been scientifically demonstrated uh, in studies uh, to be significantly beneficial against uh, bacteria as far as, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the viruses are concerned. So bacteria, that, that virus, is, and that is That is beyond, beyond question. Mm -hmm. Anybody that wants to argue that point, mm -hmm. bring it. Yeah, so garlic is one of the best antiviral. So, inumin nyo lang mo yan, o kainin nyo. That's three times, or you can eat it as many as you can, especially if you have it, okay? Another is ginger. Ginger also has an antiviral property. Turmeric, yan, echinacea, oregano, and my favorite, honey and cinnamon. So, whenever my children have a viral infection, especially here right now in the U.S. because it's the flu season. Yes. Okay, so when you have the flu season, everyone is coughing, okay? Kasi malamig. <laughs> so, what, what usually happens is that they would come, come from school, my children, and then they would be coughing. So, the ones that I usually give them is honey and cinnamon. So, these are some of the herbs that you can use to enhance your immunity as well. So they have also anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. immune-enhancing <clears throat> properties, and also antimicrobial properties. So, pwede nyo mo siyang gawin, okay? And again, you can use mega-dose vitamin C. Correct. It's obviously, yeah. vitamin C has been uh, demonstrated 
uh, to significantly immunomodulate your immune system. So. Yes, so you can take it one teaspoon, okay, but if you're feeling sassy, you know. <laughs> go higher. You can go higher, which is one it's tablespoon once a day. It's up to you. The problem is you will have diarrhea. That's the side effect of the mega dose vitamin C. One of the, but one of the best uh, yeah, basically just, you things know, that you can do. It's a bowel tolerance. Yeah. yeah. Just, so th those are very simple. And another one is Boston C, okay. Yeah. They see so, it backwards too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so Boston C can also help you one teaspoon three times a day. Again, to uh, reiterate, you can use herbs, a uh, Boston C and mega dose vitamin C. Those are the things that uh, you can uh, use right now or you can drink to protect yourself. But what about the practical things? Well, some of the practical things you can do. I mean, mm -hmm. the thing is, will it hurt you to wear a mask? No. Mm -hmm. Can it benefit you? Yes. It provides a certain degree of, of protection, protection, but it doesn't provide 100%, okay? So even if you're wearing a mask, it doesn't provide 100% protection, okay? But the thing is, if you're going to be out with a lot of people, right. riding in a jeepney, at the mall, at the market, mm -mm. does it make good sense right now to wear one? Yeah, it makes it good sense. Yeah. You know, the thing is, do we have to be faced with a significant pandemic to make mm -hmm. wise choices for ourselves? No. Mm -hmm. No, and some people they want to be KSP and wear a mask. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> but, but the thing is, it just makes good sense to do it. Mm -hmm. It's it, it, like she said, it offers a level of protection. Mm -hmm. It's it's inexpensive to do. Mm -mm. And also, do not go to crowded places. Try okay? to avoid it. Try to avoid, Try to avoid going it. to malls. You know, to yeah. parties. And yeah. if you're not feeling good, and, you and, isolate yourself. I, and, and don't be so handsy with people uh -huh. for the time being. You know, mm -mm. don't be too handsy. Don't, don't be too touch, handsy. You know, hug. to hugging, kissing, all these kissing. different things. Yeah, because uh, that's obviously a significant way to spread infection. Mm -hmm. Close contact. I mean, if you have a chicken pox, okay, this is just with the chicken pox. If you have a chicken pox, okay, what what is the first thing you do? You isolate, isolate yourself. yourself. Yeah, because you don't want anyone to be affected. Yeah, kissing all your relatives. Um, yeah. So I mean. Uh, if it was me, I have a chicken pox, I, do, I will not go to crowded places. I will sa mga may concert because I know that I can infect them, okay? When it so, comes to your utensils, they have to, your, your plates, your cups, mm -hmm. your, your forks, your spoons, all mm -hmm. these things, they have to be sanitized and mm -hmm. sanitized well. Otherwise, you have the potential of spreading okay. if you do happen to get infected. Mm -hmm. But what about the coughing etiquette? What is a coughing etiquette? Yes, sir, Jack, yes, sir, Jack knows this. Coughing etiquette, if you cough, cough into your elbow like, <coughs> like this. So Do not cough like... Don't, <laughs> don't be like... <laughs> <laughs> all and over spit, everything. Don't, don't and spit. spitting everywhere. Seriously. You know, the thing is, if you have to cough, don't, don't spit on the <coughs> sidewalk. Don't, don't, don't spit around people. Would you like that if someone did it to you? You know, if, if you happen to see someone who's gacking and coughing and they spit in front of you, mm -hmm. are you gonna be? Are you gonna like that? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. So don't do it to other people. Just you know, be. Yeah. Let's, let's have some etiquette when it comes to one another. Be mindful, and then Just when you're mindful. gonna cough, you're gonna cough. You have to cough on a a tissue paper. Preferably on <coughs> tissue. And dispose them properly. properly. Do not dispose them. Yeah, everywhere. don't throw it on the ground. Yeah, dispose them off properly. You can also put uh, sanitation. You know. You sanitize. Also, your house. You have to sanitize your house. Time to clean house. Clean is ka. Clean your house. Yes. So you have to sanitize. You don't really necessarily have to use um, if if you don't have the money to buy um, some of the disinfectant. One of the best disinfectant is white vinegar. Mm -hmm. So white vinegar, put as simple as white vinegar. Mm -hmm. So put it in a in a. Uh, in the surface that it's affected because some of the virus they can stay awake or not awake but they can uh, lie dormant dormant without by, a host. around uh, five days so two to five days pwede po yan. so they can spread uh, so akala mo okay ka na yeah, so ka think na. about so it around two to five days tapos maka mahawakan mo yung yeah. naubuhan so basically so, mom someone could gack on the, the the side of the jeepney yeah you know three days ago Mm -hmm. And you, you touch it, there's obviously a potential there. Mm -hmm. A potential for 
transmission. For you for yeah to be transmitted. So ingat ingat. So cleanliness is very important. In nice fact, to godliness. Because we were actually talking about that, di ba? Even the Israelites, Jehovah told them that you have to be clean. Okay, mm -hmm. they told him. They told all the Israelites how to dispose of their um manure so pag tumatae sila so kailangan uh, ganito ang gawin ninyo you have to dig and then you you poop there and then you have to cover it even they were also talking about washing so washing how to properly wash the hands so back then so Jehovah is a good god because he knows that some of us can infect one another and mm -hmm. if we live in a community even in here in the US right honey in mm -hmm. the 1800s 1800 they do not practice they do not practice proper they were not proper sanitation, sanitation not proper sewer systems so such. they were just throwing their poop <laughs> on the street in the street so and then everyone is getting sick so uh, eventually they were able to identify what was the reason why why people are getting sick back then and that led to a lot of uh, discoveries and a lot of procedures that mm -hmm. they had to follow to maintain cleanliness. So, very important. Maging malinis po tayo. Take a bath every day. <laughs> Some of us, we don't take a bath anymore. Okay? Proper hand washing. Diba? So, paano ba yung proper hand washing? How do you pro how do you wash your hand? Using so, both hands. Using palms, some sort of soap. Here. 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 Okay? Clean them well. Like this. Kung mag-hand wash po kayo. Ganyan. That's how you wash your hand. Okay? Not necessarily with the uh, the most sophisticated soap, just a, a, a soap, soap and water. That's a, the basic soap and water. That's very but take your uh, time. important. Take your uh -huh. time to do it right. Yes. Okay. And of course, you have to cook food properly. Wag ko kayo kakain ng raw food, especially Sir Jack. Sir Jack likes uh, raw food. Do you no, like not raw? Food? But I like my steak a little rare. Okay. So it's not good because some of them, some of them, the virus might still be alive. When you eat them, not only virus, no? Probably it's also parasites. Some parasite and bacteria. Especially with the eggs, they have salmonella. So, pag hindi nyo niluto yan, and there's a high probability that you're able to eat as well. Mm -hmm. So, it can uh, um, make you sick. So, very important that you have to cook your food properly. Cook them properly. And, wag kayong kakain muna ng wild, uh, wild animals. Don't eat wild animals. Well, you know, what is the wildest food that you have? Wildest, the craziest food that you have ever eaten. That I, that I ever ate? Yeah. Craziest food I ever ate is, uh, I was in Japan. This has been close to 30 years ago. Mm. And uh, I got way off the beaten path mm. um, with some buddies when I was in the service. And uh, we went to a sushi bar where everyone was uh. drinking sake, eating sushi, watching sumo. And I pointed to what we wanted, told them how many we wanted. Uh, and then uh, they got there, and I didn't like it. What was it? It it's was a sushi. It was, it was a bunch of sushi. I, I, I can remember there was like a little uh, little Sir tiny, Jack doesn't like little sushi. tiny squid octopus thingy, you know, uh -huh. kind of still alive on my plate, and I didn't like any of it. But this kid I was with, you know, he was from I think South Carolina. Uh -huh. Boy, he, he couldn't eat enough. Okay. And he was like a he was like a, a shark tearing mm -hmm. through that stuff. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm like. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't like stuff like that. But for all of the people there, okay, if you're fond of eating bats, don't eat bats naman. <laughs> bats, civet cat, what else? Uh, so, rats. cobra, rats, okay. Wag muna kayo, especially those Mice. Types, Yeah, especially the rats, you know, they harbor, they're actually the, one of the, the bubonic plague, if you're fam Cats. familiar with that, the one that wiped most of the European nation, are, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 10 million that A lot of people. That, that were killed because of the uh, bacteria. It's known as uh, um, Yersinia pestis, uh, Yersinia pestis, which thrive in the in uh, mouse back then. So mm -hmm. it almost wiped out the entire population of Europe. That's why they're also saying that this can be the next bubonic plague. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, but, the, but the thing is, you know, let's not underestimate it either. Yes. You know, we, we don't want to go into a, into a panic mode, but the thing is, we, mm -mm. we can't underestimate these things. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to basically make sure we take the steps as individuals to protect ourselves. We, mm -hmm. cannot, we cannot depend upon the government no. uh, to, to protect us. Do not 
actually do not depend. You can depend in a certain degree. Oh. Ang gobyerno, ho, they can offer some, some form of protection. Okay, but a little. Now, it's your responsibility as a human being, as a person. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself and your family. But you're responsible for your health, yeah. ultimately. Lagi naman yun, eh, you make the choices. It, your health is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. and you have to... You, you, know, you have to come to grips with that. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're not a victim. The vast majority of what happens to you are your choices. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, it's it's well documented. In fact, you could even, it's funny, I found, I even saw it on Wikipedia yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's something you've been saying for years that, you know, f only five to maybe 10% maximum when it comes to cancers are genetic. Mm -hmm. And the other, you know, 90 to 95% are uh, related to environment, you know, the, the, our lifestyle, our choices, the, the environment we live in. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is, again, I saw it on Wikipedia of all places. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're now even quoting that. So it's nice to see you once again validated, Mom. Okay. So now, next is you have to eat nutritious food. So kumain ho kayo ng mga pagkain na that is proven to enhance your immune system. Because mm -hmm. you are what you eat and what you absorb. Okay? So... That's 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 really the the um, the rule in all the eating. So kung kumakain no kayo ng pagkain na junk foods, o di ba? How can it enhance your immunity? So how, how can it protect you? So you have to eat foods that are rich in proteins. Yeah, kain po kayo ng itlog. Yan. Um you can also eat uh mushroom. Yeah, that's my favorite. Mushroom lentils yan so these are proteins and also meat okay mas maganda is organic, organic organic meat yeah that's the the best you can also eat foods that are rich in vitamin c again so chili <laughs> sile yeah lalo na ako mahilig ako sa sile yeah sir jack I, I just, um, because I'm pregnant, so I'm, I'm yeah, trying isn't to Yeah, isn't that eat, awesome? I'm trying to eat a lot of sili right now. Nagkakaroon po ko na cravings with the sili. And sili has a high vitamin C content, di ba? Mm -hmm. So one of the best things that uh, that you can uh, take in uh, pagka, pagka meron ho kayong uh, problems. Also with uh, garlic, onions, mm -hmm. yan. So basil, thyme, all of these herbs, they can actually help you. Uh, to enhance your immune system. Yeah. Tea! Yan. Kung mahilig po kayo sa tea, so the teas can help you also. Me, my favorite tea is uh, black tea. Black tea. Also, green tea as well. Mm -hmm. So, yung mga yan. Meron po mga properties that it can help you. Mga gulay, of course. Diba? So, alam na natin yan. And then, exercise. So, um, if you exercise, you increase your uh, lymphatic uh, system. So, your lymphatic mm -hmm. flow. Lymphatic flow is uh, better if you have, uh, if you exercise. So, do not forget to exercise as well. These small things, uh, you think they are insignificant, but they really have a big impact on our body. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you, you know, you, these are the most important thing. And again, I want to reiterate about cleanliness. Correct. And so, maligo. <laughs> some of them, because some of them, they don't take a bath. So, here you have to take a bath, okay? Yeah, I mean, re cleanliness. Go through, go through the steps again, very briefly again, Mom. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that people can do to prevent, okay. uh, you know, potential infection. Help prevent it. Okay. So, again, to... Um, um, to summarize, so you can use herbs, okay, these are garlic, ginger, turmeric, oregano, honey, and lemon. They have antiviral properties, mega dose vitamin C, Boston C. Some practical tips is if you're sick, you isolate yourself, do not go on crowded areas, malls, parties, etc. You have to wear a mask. Now, I'm seeing people here commenting, what is the best type of mask? They're saying there's a there's one who says it's N95 or something. Huh. Okay. Any. Okay. Any. This is I I do not advocate any mask. Okay. Any brand, so, any particular. Type. Yeah, but it's for, whatever you can get. Any any uh -oh. one that you get is going to offer you some degree of protection. No, just a, just a plain cloth or handkerchief. They are okay. Okay, just do like this, okay? So they can't hear you. She said just do like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the plain handkerchief, that's already okay. So, um, I'm not gonna say what type of uh, mask, okay? Just make sure that it's 
properly covered. The mm. nose, the most important is the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. They're properly covered. Because I told you there are some research that says that the virus can also go inside the mouth, uh, the eyes. Mm -hmm. So very important. And you have to wash your hands. Well, again, wash them well. Using soap and water. Do not kiss, hug, or anything that is a hug, kiss, anyone who is sick. If you're out in and public, you have, avoid touching your eyes and yeah. face. So you have coughing etiquette. So how do you cough? Again, you cough. How, Sir Jack? Mm, like okay. this or into a tissue. Mm -mm. You have to eat nutritious food and you have to cook your food properly. So relax, don't panic. Relax, don't, don't panic. panic. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the things. And I hope that you enjoyed the, our discussion again of the novel coronavirus okay just in case that you will be one day hopefully wag naman so you will encounter a novel coronavirus just uh, stay away from them